Hey guys, welcome to Code Decode. Today in this video, we'll be looking into Hibernate n plus 1 select problem and all the interview questions related to n plus 1 select issues. What is this problem? What are the solutions? And how can we mitigate such problems? Let's get started. Please like, share and subscribe to support us so that this video reaches to more of the people preparing for interviews like you. So very first part, what is this Hibernate n plus 1 select problem all about? So n plus 1 select problem is actually a performance issue in Hibernate. In this problem, a Java application makes n plus 1 database calls where n is the number of children's object which is being fetched when it is lazily loaded. For example, when n is 2, application makes total of 3 calls. Now let me give you an example first and then we will come to theory and understand what this Hibernate n plus 1 select problem is all about. Now here I have created a demo for you. Here we have a controller which is going to fetch all the departments present in an application. We have two entities, a department and an employee. Now we can say that one employee belongs to one department but one department contains many employees. So you can see there is a one to many relationship between department and employee. So one department has multiple employees. So it is one to many relationship. One department contains multiple list of employees. By default, Hibernate 3 is lazy loaded. So even if you don't write it, it is okay, it is fine. Until unless it is not required, the list of employees will not be fetched. Only the ID and name will be fetched. Now, similarly, we have a controller who fetches all the departments. The controller calls the service and service says find all and it returns you the list of departments. Now, what is expected is if it is eager loaded, this list of department at line number 39 will also have list of employees with each department. But that will not be the case because we have made it lazy load. Now, when we hit this controller, the call goes to service and it fetches all the departments. But when we return all the departments, we also need list of all employees. Hence, at this line number 39, a call goes to database and fetches all employees for a particular department. So if you will see in your table, you have n departments, then total of n plus 1 queries will be printed here. So I'm going to clear my console. In the application.properties, I have said that show SQL true and show the Hibernate in a proper format so that it will be visible for us what query is actually being hit to the database. And then we can understand this n plus 1 select problem performance issue better. So let me try and add some data. This is my department table. This is my employee table, which is both empty right now. In the number of rows you have here, n plus one queries being hit here. So let me add two right now. I have sales department and I have inventory department. Now in the employee table, I'll put some data. So now we have two departments, one and two sales and inventory, and we have three employees two belonging to department one and one belonging to department two. So code and decode belongs to one and code decode belongs to two. Now, when I hit the controller, the first query will be to fetch all departments, but will not have any list of employees. But when we are trying to return it so that the user can see all the departments at that point of time, another two queries will be hit. So total of three queries must be there on our console. So let's try hitting it. Hey guys, there's a super amazing app called this Next Level recently launched by an academy for you. Next Level is an ultimate platform for you to showcase your expertise and skills and get professional ratings. The better is the professional rating, the better is your job opportunities. Yes, this is the application where you will have job opportunities out there for you, waiting for you. This app is now available on iOS as well. The playing time is also increased from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. When you can play with your opponents. Also, they have amazing prizes for rank 1, they have MacBook Air, rank 2, they have iPad mini, rank 3 for Kindle white paper and also top 25 people have the certificate of appreciation. There are many coding competitions on the application. All you need to do is participate in these coding competitions, compete with the people, win the coding rounds. The more you win, the better is your rating. The better is your rating, the more is the job opportunities unlocked for you. Yes, they have multiple partners across the multiple domains. Like in IT services like HCL, ECS, Infosys, SAP Labs, in e-learning platform also like Scalar, Simply Learn, 
in finance department like icici in e-commerce department like cashify and many more you can invite your friends and challenge them to coding competitions the best part is the app is completely free and the link to download the same is given in the description below with the code reference right now you will need to join the waitlist you can start playing on the app as soon as your waitlist is confirmed so hurry download the app join the waitlist to get the early access to the app also do not forget to refer to your friends so that you can get ahead in the waitlist the code comes to here to the controller from here we goes to the service layer and here nothing is being printed right now as soon as i reach to line number 39 a call will go to fetch all the departments but will not fetch any of the list of employees because it is lazy loaded so only id and name will be you will be able to see in the console so there is a hibernate select query which fetches only id and name from the department table but the department has three things not just the id and the name but also the list of employees but since it was lazy loaded which is by default you don't need to keep it after hibernate 3 by default all the fetching is lazy loaded in n plus 1 the one part is done so one query is hit to the database to fetch all the list of departments in this n plus 1 database calls the phone call to fetch all the list of departments is done and this is how we have fetched all the departments just the name and id and not the list of employees is done so in, in from n plus 1 1 is done now we have total of two rows so two more hibernate select queries will be triggered when we fetch all departments and all the employees if you can see so this was the first one that was in this n plus 1 the one the one call is done here now apart from that there is one more select query and one more select query and that is to fetch employee from employee table where department id equals to question mark so this department id is 2 and this department id is 1 these two are sent to now fetch the employees in each department so we have two department 1 and 2 and now the list of all the employees in these two departments are fetched with these two queries so now here if you would have three rows then you would have n plus 1 that is total of four queries to be hit now here there were two so there were three queries first query second query and third query i'll, I'll increase the console size so this is first query this is second query and this is third query now if we have three department numbers then three queries where department number one department number two and then department number three will be fetched so total of four queries you will be able to see i'll go give a quick demo here i'll add one more department say orders department and i'm going to create an employee another employee in department three and i'll remove the console things now when i try to hit this url not only i'll be able to fetch all the details of the three departments but also all the list of employees associated with that particular department in total of n plus one that is of four queries will be hit first done and the rest three will be done so the second one the third one and the fourth one so total of four hibernate queries are there the first hibernate query second hibernate query third hibernate query and fourth hibernate query the total of four queries are hit first one as usual to fetch all the department list and rest all three to fetch from employee table list of employees for that particular department so this is for department number one this is for department number two and this is for department number three so n number of departments and n plus one number of queries being hit on your database so which is worse currently we have only three departments now if i have 10000 departments will you be hitting 10001 queries on your database so this is a very bad performance and this is the problem of n plus one select so n plus one select problem is a performance issue an application makes n plus one database call where n is the number of rows of your parent so there are three rows in parent then three calls will be done for fetching the child object initially we had two so we had three database calls then we had n as three and then we had four database calls and will grow on as the number of rows in the parent grows now example we have taken as employee and department have one too many relationship one department have multiple employees and it is unidirectional map mapping with lazy loading now when we fetch all departments what we do a first call goes to department table and fetch all departments and then a second call goes to n number of times to fetch n number of employees in each of the department so n is the department 
n calls will go to fetch list of employees in each department and one here so total of n plus one calls so what is the solution when you hit n number of times even your cost of the database will go to a limit so so this is a very bad performance issue of hibernate so if there is a problem there is always a solution so at sql level what we need to do is we need to avoid n plus 1 queries being fired at our database and the ways to do that is to join and get the query in the single result so there are two approaches a spring data approach and the hibernate approach now spring data data jp approach says use left join fetch now what is join and fetch so join you know join is used to join two tables here what what two tables we have we have department table and the employee table now what we need to do is to to do a join on these two tables so that these number of queries should not be fired only one query and you get all your data so use join and fetch the fetch keyword is a jpa specific statement it instruct the persistence provider to not only join to database tables but also initialize the association on the return entity it works both on join and left join statements now let me give you an example then you will understand it better so this is the query find without n plus 1 problem so select the department left join and fetch so this fetch i was talking about this fetch is used to instruct to join two tables and also initialize the association so it not only just joins the two tables but also fetches the list of employees now let's use this rather than find all where can we use this rather than using this we can use the find all rather than using the find all let's use find without n plus 1 problem let me debug this again for you it started let's hit it again so from controller call goes to service layer and in service layer as soon as i do the next line execution you can see on the console that you have done only one hibernate query now your problem of n queries being hit must be removed because here only you are trying to select not only the department id and name but also the employees name id and department id from the department table with left join of employee table on the department id and that's how you have done the join using the fetch and if you can see on the console no extra query being hit this is the only query that we have seen with just one query you have all your results there in your data so this is how you solve the n plus 1 problem using the join fetch the second option is to use the attribute path or entity graph which was introduced in jpa2 it is used to allow partial or specific fetching of objects when an entity say department has a reference to another entity say employee then we can specify a plan in order to determine which field like for example list of employees to be fetched eagerly and together with the department only so using this also we can solve this problem so let me get back to my original one this was my original one which was giving a problem now in the department crud let's uncomment this so this is a way to use entity graph the entity graph says okay now you have to fetch the list of departments but i want to customize it i also want to fetch list of employees along with the list of department though it is eager though it is lazy i don't care just also along with list of departments also fetch list of employees having said that you need to use the find all so here in the service layer i am already using the find all but this find all is a customized one this find all is having an entity graph so now if you if i clear the console and now if i try to hit and fetch the list of departments and all the employees call goes from controller to service layer and again if you can see in the console there is only one hibernate query which actually does the left join only with department and employee table on the department id and fetch all the list of employees from here so you have your data here awesome and only one query being hit so rather than using n queries and having the performance issues these are the two solutions using the join fetch and using the entity graph to fetch by joining the two tables or by telling which particular property you should also fetch while fetching the department also we have another hibernate approach using the hql query similar to the sql query that we have written here 
in the department correct this is the sql query you can also use the hql query the, the same as this so from department join fetch list of employees from employee table this is the hql query this is just a counterpart of sql query nothing much and secondly in hibernate approach you can use a criteria also because you are just doing the fetch you are not trying to alter anything so criteria is also an approach to solve this issue where you create a criteria and fetch the department but you also set the fetch mode as eager for list of employees so when you are trying to fetch departments you should eagerly fetch list of employees this is also can be done so eager loading is also an option this hql query or sql query with a join fetch is also an option and entity graph is also a solution so these were the solutions to your n plus 1 select problem if you want more clarity on entity graph what is entity graph what is this join what is live join what is join fetch you have to let me know in the comment section i'll create a separate video on that this video is only for n plus 1 select problem solutions and issues so that's all on n plus 1 select problem let me know in the comment section if you need clarity on these thank you